You know, this is the best thing I could be doing right now. <laughs> I just went a whole ten minutes without even thinking about Stacey. Might not seem like it now, Bradley, but with time, you will get over it. Hmm. Yeah. Marmalade therapy. <laughs> I could write my own book. What do you reckon? Bend your broken heart, though. Bradley Branding way. <laughs> oh, wonderful to see you smiling. Does me the world is good. Oh, you two look busy. Oh, I know, Claire. Just seeing your Uncle Jack coming out the flight, doesn't look very happy. Yeah, well, I'm not getting involved. I think it's possible your dad might have had stuff stolen, too. I've got no idea. Like I said, I'm not interested. Oh, maybe it would serve him right. Claire, that ain't very nice. Well, for hurting Bradley. Even so. Jesus said we should love our enemies. Well, that's just weird. I mean, the whole point of an enemy is that you don't like them. You give out hate, you'll get back hate. You give out love, you'll get back love. I know which I'd prefer. Now, Bradley, I don't think we've got enough of these jars. No, you're joking. Pauline had some. I don't suppose Ian hung on to it. Well, I can go and ask if you like. Oh, there's no point, Claire. There's nothing left in that house that's like it was. It's only over the road. I'd like to do my bit, like you said. Give out love, get love back. Oh. I'll be as quick as I can. I know it's early days, Bradley, and you won't even want to start thinking about it, but... I don't really think I'm Claire's type, Grandma. Well, you don't want to rule yourself out. Someday she's going to make some fella a very happy man. Mm. Don't cut that too thick. Grandfather don't like it, Chunky. I'm really sorry. I must have all got thrown out when we moved in. Oh, well, never mind. Thanks for looking. How's the uh, shoulder? Massage yesterday? Oh, yes. Uh, yes, much better, thanks. You've got a great physique for a man of your age. Really? Yeah, yeah. Um, excuse me. What? Did you see this in the lab? What about it? From Tunstall's office. He's expecting silver service. Oh, you are joking. I haven't done silver service since... I'm the mill machine. What about you? We're going to have to get an agency staff. There goes a profit margin. Can't be helped. Ian? Yeah? Tell me if I'm interfering, but I used to do silver service up in Scotland. Really? If you needed to brush up, I could help you if you like. Um... Maybe you could come round to Dots one night. You could cook something and I could show you how to serve it. You serious? Well, if it's going to help. When are you free? Uh, tomorrow night. OK, tomorrow night is then. All right, listen, um, listen, about those jam jars, just pop over to Cafe and Marie might be able to help you out. All right, I'll do that. If I don't see you before, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, about 7 30. Perfect. So what was all that about? Jam jars. I know these aren't exactly the right type, but Marie seemed to think they'd do. Oh, they're more than do. It's ever so sweet to have you, Claire. Go to all that trouble on my account. That's no trouble. Uh, Dot? Mm hmm Are you going to be in tomorrow night? Oh, I should think so. I don't tend to go out much of an evening, you know, not till the weather picks up. Why do you ask? I was thinking I might offer to cook. <laughs> oh, that is kind of you. But you don't have to. Phil. Bye now. What are you doing? Well, strikes me. We're Tanya off again today. No gainer. Nothing in the book till after lunch. That open sign just making work for ourselves. Yeah, but what if someone tells her? Oh, I'll just tell her Nigel had a heart attack or something. Claire. Don't act all shocked. I know all about what you and your stepbrother did to Sean Slater. And who told you about that? Look, I'm not judging you. If anything, I'm impressed the more I hear. Impressed? Why fight each other when we can help each other out? How do you mean? You do something for me, I do something for you. That could work out to be a mutually beneficial arrangement. What do you say? Cooey! In here, Claire. I've only just this second finish. Oh, well, Jim will love a jar of that. Yeah, well, that was the idea, you know, cos uh, it's the little things what count when you... What are you doing back here at dinner time? Not that I'm pleased to see you. I just wanted to check that you were OK. I'll worry about oh, you. Oh, Claire. There ain't no need. Oh, I'll get it. Oh, sorry. Hello? So what am I actually supposed to be saying here, Claire? Oh, really? When? 
Go on. Right, I'll uh, pass it on. Well? They said specifically that you weren't to worry. Who did? Jim's nursing home. He's been asking after you. But he knows I ain't coming today, because I explained. Oh, I should have to go and see him after my shift. Or well, they asked that you didn't do that, actually. Why not? Well, it's all this coming and going. What's disturbing him? One day you're there, the next minute you're not. But he said he didn't want me to wear myself out. Listen, I've had a thought. Tell me if I'm being stupid. What? Why don't you go and spend some time with Carol? Then you could be close by to be on hand whenever Jim needed you. Oh, no, I couldn't impose on Carol. I mean, she ain't been well. And then there's my job. I mean, Miss Robert, but, but you know, he won't be able to find cover. And then uh, poor Bradley, he needs looking Dot, after. Dot, you do too much. Carol won't mind, and it's only going to be for a couple of days. I'll look after the laundry and Bradley. Jim needs you now. Oh, all right. I'll give Carol a call. See what she says. Bradley about? He's in the front room. Bradley? What? Oh. oh, you scared me. <laughs> Look, this is a really difficult thing to say, because I know Dot wouldn't ask herself. Oh, uh, what? She's got this idea in her head that she's going to go and stay at Carol so she can visit Jim more often. But I know for a fact that she's really worried about going on her own. Oh, I'm going to miss you so much. Oh, yeah. well, come on, Grandma. I want Carol to be expecting us. Make sure you look after her. She's a very special lady, aren't you, Doc? Are you sure you're going to be all right on your own, Claire? I'll be fine. If I get lonely, I'll call Nigel. Huh. Wish he were here. Uh. Absolutely. So come on, tell me. It's no big deal. Just wanted the place to myself. Go and to have fun. And why don't I believe you? The same reason I wouldn't quite believe you if you said the same thing to me. What are you up to? I want a good time. Meanwhile, I owe you one. Do you want wine inside us, please, Ronnie? Anyone know why there's a police car out in the square? 